Good day. My name is Father Brad Doyle. I'm the associate pastor at St. Margaret's Church in Albany, Louisiana. And I want to invite you to participate with us here at St. Margaret's and with the wider community in a Friday fast for peace and justice. Over the past few days, I've been watching the news, as I'm sure you have been as well, with heavy heart. Um, There have been grave injustices um, done, and in response to those grave injustices, more injustice. This is not the response of a Christian nation or a Christian people. I believe as Christians, it is our duty and responsibility, our divine calling from God to address all abuses no matter where they are and and where they surface. First, I would like to clearly address why we are doing this fast for peace and justice. By now, I'm sure we've all seen the unjust and gruesome way that George Floyd was killed. And unfortunately, this is not an isolated incident. And in response to that, we've seen rioting and looting and the injustices performed on other people, businesses and our cities and apartments being burned. Our cities are literally going up in smoke in response to injustice. It calls to mind the quote from Martin Luther King Jr. He said, hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. We would like to call everyone together in a day of prayer and fasting for the recent events in our nation, a return to peace and civility. And for our country, as we move forward, that we may give all people their due respect and unite our country as one that is truly one nation under God. I propose a Friday fast for peace and justice. On Friday, June 5th, in which we would call all our congregations, no matter where you are, no matter what denomination, all our congregations to do the following. One, to fast that day. Now, fasting can mean many different things. Uh, In the Catholic tradition, um, a fast would include um, abstinence from meat and also only consuming one meal and two smaller snacks that don't add up to one meal. And that's just strictly what a fast in the Catholic Church is. But it could be a fast from social media. It could be uh, a fast from a certain type of drink you like, right? Soda or whatever. You decide between you and God what that fast is. But God is clear. Jesus is clear in Scripture that sometimes certain things can only be cast out, right? Certain demons can only be cast out through prayer and fasting. Fasting is a, is a powerful spiritual practice. And as I said, prayer and fasting. So the second thing I will call us all to do is to pray together at the same time. And that time will be at 6 p.m. on Friday, June 5th. And if you're at your house, I ask you to walk out onto your porch um, in a visible way. And maybe it's only one person going down the street that sees you, but it's an act. It's almost a pilgrimage. Um, And if you're out somewhere, if you're at a restaurant, if you're um, visiting friends, and be a good witness to say, hey, we're going to stop right now and join together with our church and communion with all these other churches to pray for at least five minutes. Now, what myself and and Pastor Robert Fontenot, who I'm working in conjunction with, are going to be doing is we're recording uh, a vigil, a prayer service that we will stream from St. Margaret, Queen of Scotland's Facebook page at 6 p.m. on June 5th. That's Friday at 6 p.m. on June 5th. And so we'll have that available for you to follow along with. If you can't tune into the stream, don't worry. Just join us in prayer for five minutes at 6 p.m on June 5th and be fasting that day. And that way we'll be joining together as Christians um, in responding with prayer and fasting. Finally, I think it's important that we make clear what our intentions are. What are we bringing to the Lord with our prayer and fasting? Number two, for the end of all abuses of power and to the end of all acts of violence against those who are most vulnerable and for practical steps to change our system where those acts cannot be allowed. Number three, for the end of all destructive rioting and looting in our country right now. I wanna be clear, I don't mean for the end of all protests, peaceful protests particularly. Protest is a very important 
thing. We need it in our country, and it, and it's a, it can be a Christian action. This intention is for the end of all destructive and violent rioting and looting. And finally, four, to foster peace and to be a witness of Christ's body, who we are called to be in the world. I pray that no matter our denomination, no matter our location, no matter our race, and no matter what else might tend to divide us, we can all come together in prayer and fasting for these intentions. Again, we invite you to join us on June 5th at 6 p.m. on St. Margaret's Facebook page. God bless.